So we're out again fishing and crabbing. But while we're doing that, we're gonna have a private conversation about the post grad work we need and what are those uh, professions who are not eligible now. So we're gonna throw it right now. And I know by this time you already checked the list and you will notice that most business programs and also tourism and hospitality programs are not eligible for the postgraduate work permit. But MC, that's not a problem because you know that's only for diploma and certificate. Yes, you are right. You can take a master's degree or bachelor's degree so that you can be eligible for the postgraduate work permit but not everyone you know is eligible to take a master's degree or can afford to study a bachelor's degree in Canada so what can I do what are my options right now oh my god I got some it's a girl so sad that's huge I'm gentle I'm not like the woman there. I'm just gonna let you First, if you are a K-12 graduate, you cannot just take the master's degree here in Canada. It will require the bachelor's degree. So your option, it's either you take a bachelor's degree or switch your career. You're still young. You can still switch your career. It's easy to switch your career if you're still young, to be honest with you. I mean, you haven't accumulated experience long extensive experience in certain field in Canada so this time you just have to make sure that you have the prerequisite like for example if you're thinking to take a healthcare diploma program then make sure you have biology chem or physics right because you cannot just take a diploma in healthcare if you don't have those subjects in in your senior high but if you're a mature student you cannot just you know switch your career like that but you have the option to take the master's degree right you can take the mba in business or um, master's in tourism although for tourism not a lot of you know like available programs for masters but you can still take the master's degree in business you just have to make sure that you are prepared for it especially for the requirements and also for the visa you have to have a strong study plan and also prepare your visa requirements but yes you still have the possibility of getting the student visa here and also it will benefit you long term because the higher education it's better for the permanent residency here So we went back here because we're trying to get some crabs for Thanksgiving. So we only got one last night. So we're trying to get another few crabs today. Hopefully we can get one. But it's already cold. I don't know. Maybe they migrated somewhere. But it's so hard to get crabs lately. It's very challenging. Same one again. Finally, guys, we got some. It's the young red crab. So, this is pretty big for a red crab. Say you go. 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 Say Ah, talaga? 20? Mm -hmm. Matagal na! Naabot na na ng mga changes! Tingnan natin yung ginawa mo. Pero actually, ang unang naiisip ko na magiging problema or issue is, di ba undergraduate ka? Tapos nasa tourism ka pa? Siyempre, hindi natin pwedeng hindi natin pwedeng ituloy ang culinary dahil wala na siyang PGWP, di ba? 
kasi healthcare mas maganda pang mag trades ka pero yun yung kailangan kong malaman ano yung ginagawa mo sa trabaho mo kasi hindi tayo pwedeng mag-switch lang ng career na wala tayong pinaghugutan. Diba? Yeah. So, we just recently had a call with a student and then he was refused in the beginning and then now, we're not just dealing with the refusal but we also need to change his program. So, he was handled with an agency and then the culinary program apparently unfortunately is not eligible anymore for the postgraduate work I mean, so just like what i said you know sometimes you have to switch your program because you have to be eligible for the postgraduate work permit now what we need to do is change it to a different program um, either we pursue something related to agriculture food and agriculture or in trades so we had like um, a thorough assessment with that student and then we found out that their family owns like a, a farm so they're thinking maybe you should uh, consider taking an agriculture program or something related to a trade program in agriculture so that's what you need to do guys you have to look through with your experience like what can you use so that you can switch your career so we're now going to south island and we're going to stay for two nights there for thanksgiving and we're gonna go and stay in a cozy log house with the lake view You're gonna be in the camera. <laughs> so yeah, with that student that I was talking to earlier, now we're pushing him to do agriculture because you know Saskatchewan just released a new pathway for agriculture and healthcare. So that would be a new redirection for him. So let's see what's gonna happen, but we're pushing him to do agriculture or related to trades in agriculture. So you guys, thank you guys for watching this video and next video, let's have more topics again about immigration. If there's any changes, again, we are going to update you. And yeah, thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Happy Thanksgiving.